I went to Washington for a rally to support the tribal heritage and American bison, grizzly, bear, and wolf restoration and coexistence act. We also met with some lawmakers while we were there with their assistance, and we had a good time. Stay tuned and see what happened. Say hi, Luna. So we are now in Washington, D.C. and we are coming up to the iconic species rally. The rally was set up to support the Tribal Heritage and American Bison, Grizzly Bear and Wolf Restoration and Coexistence Act. It was introduced by Senator Cory Booker and U.S. Rep. Ryle M. Grijalva, and I hope I pronounced that right, from Arizona. Hey, Deborah. So why are we here? What are we doing here in Washington, D.C.? Yeah. Yeah. We're in Washington to promote a, a act for our bill to um, preserve under Native American guidance, rule, and, and care the wolves, the bisons, and the grizzlies. Is that short enough? The legislation establishes permanent federal protections for American bison, grizzly bear, and gray wolves, and expands recovery and coexistence efforts. It enhances tribal management authority by creating oversight committees to work with tribes on identifying lands for species reintroduction. Uh, the rally had animal conservation groups present. Um, Native Americans were there, doing um, some doing speeches and others doing dances and chants and this, that, and the other. It was pretty cool. The Native costumes too were just an added bonus. Keats Agya. 
Keith's Aga. Today is a good day. And the day is what you make it. If the day's not so good, you can change it. In your mind and in your heart, for it to be a Keith's Aga, a good day. got his dog. above and beyond the Endangered Species Act, which, and, and as Native people, we feel like that's the kind of protection these animals deserve. Uh, the Endangered Species Act is a bit of a, uh, I don't know, I, I've been working on environmental things for 40 plus years, and the Endangered Species Act has been helpful but it is not a holistic management system of our, all of our relatives and the natural world. It's a, it's a species specific thing and that has been good for some of the species. But in the meantime, in this time of the six mass extinction and all of these species going extinct at the most rapid pace that we've ever had and the loss of biodiversity at the most rapid pace we've ever had, um, it's time to rethink our management scheme. And so we're asking that these three species be protected at the same level as golden and bald eagles, which almost went extinct because of uh, one specific source, which is DDT. Well, it's arguable that these species are going, uh, potentially could go extinct based on just poor management um, and, and not a holistic management structure that includes the whole ecosystem. So. Um, I'm going to just introduce some speakers, because you don't need to hear me talk. I'm going to introduce some speakers that are going to come up and talk about how these, these ancestors, these relatives, these four-legged uh, brothers and sisters of ours, what they mean to them and, and why they need protections as well. So, and then just, uh, you know, be shouting out to, because this is a place where apparently everybody, all the decisions are made. I don't know why, but that's what happens here. So we want to we want to look in the course of history as we're in this place today known as the District of Columbia. Who did they name this place after? They named it after Columbus, the man who apparently discovered the land that we're standing in. <coughs> right? I'm here to remind you all that this land was already discovered. There were already people here. There were already people that practiced their own government system. They practiced their own way of life. They had their own laws, they had their own traditions, they had their own medicines, we had our own diets. So Chinook, I believe that pierced noses because I always tell people, I look back at all my great grandparents and my grandmother and great grandmas, none of them had pierced noses, so I don't know how that came to me. But anyway, actually, it's ne per se. It's a French word. It's not des purse. Uh, but anyway, um, more to the point, um, I, um, I'm the coordinator for Nimipu Protecting the Environment, and um, I'm really grateful to be here. I flew all the way from uh, Pullman, Washington. In that school, public school, I always heard that all oh, the Indians, they came across this Bering Strait, this, uh, this uh, kind of, um, I don't know what it was, like a land that you could cross over them, but they found that that's not what occurred. And I never believed that because we have our own creation story about how we came to be the Nimipu. And so um, anyway, with the wolves, house houses, it's right, you know, that we have the right to dig as a part of the treaty. And, and 
I didn't know that, but there was a grizzly bear shot in St. Mary's, not too far from where it was, about 10 miles. And the guy, what happened was, <clears throat> it was based on bear, bear baiting. So what it is, is they have the they're brown or black bears, they put out these traps with bear, a bait in them. And so then the grizzly bears will come and you don't want to eat the bait. And then they get caught in it. So this one guy, he sent a picture of this bear he saw to the fish and game. And he said, is that a black bear or a brown bear or a grizzly bear? And they told him it was, wasn't a grizzly bear. So he shot it and then they found out it was a grizzly bear. And it was like right where I dig. And um, in the National Forest over by Clarkia, they call it. And so it's really sad to see, and you know, they don't really do anything to these people. You know, they shoot a grizzly, oh, that's all right, tough, you know, because they don't, uh, even with the, like in Idaho, Montana, some of the other areas, they're really big ranchers. They don't like wolves, they don't like grizzly bears because they figure, they think they're gonna eat their cattle and they're gonna lose money and things like that. So, but to me, um, I also meet with the Nez Perce Tribe Circle of Elders. They're like, they're all plus 70. I think you have to be 70 to be in there be fluent in the language and um, they know a lot of the history and we're talking about how these uh, animals are part of our which I've always believed now after the rally of course we did get on with some sightseeing around Washington Headed to the Senate building to meet with lawmakers about this bill. Does she have extra bills to hand out? I think she has one. Go to Colorado. Come get two letters. <laughs> Got it. I'm sorry. Did you we have any office? No, we're we have had an appointment with someone else, and we figured we're just here. We may as well oh, stop cool. by. Um, and we're here to ask that the congresswoman support a new bill that was just proposed mm -hmm. by Senator Booker and uh, Grialva. And if there's anybody that has time now or in the near future, Overall, the trip went pretty good, but of course, I was ready to get home after just a few days here. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> if you like this video and want to learn more about wolves, wolf dogs, and dogs, please hit the like button and subscribe.